person who thinks all the time has oh, nothing to think about except thoughts. I knew you were gonna die. So, oh God, he loses yeah. touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull. I want to end up like that banana card Perpetual repetition well, yeah, of words. Right. So basically, I have this glitch for you. you can click you. I'm not saying the thing is bad. Buildings. So basically, as you can see, like everything you else, it's useful you in moderation. Out, like, pretty high. A good servant, but a bad master. And your your and master. all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because no, no, don't, you don't, don't. excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we can do science <laughs> with the real world. Alright, the intro is over now. The quality of this video is only going to go down, but that doesn't matter. I hit 100 subscribers, and I want to just celebrate it by sharing my history of this channel with all of you which is probably not going to go well oh alright yeah let's pretend I didn't see that but yeah I want to share the history of my channel because most of my videos are privated I'm pretty sure and I just want to just release what I feel like is good enough where it can be in this video but never public because Editing was just not very nice, and I'm not proud of it. Anyways, enough stalling. I'm going to talk about my first years on YouTube. I would say 2018 was when I actually started. I made Minecraft note block parodies, believe it or not, and those got mad views somehow. I think I made a block parody of Revenge. It got 1,000 views. That's cool. Making my way up. And then I made a video, another one, of Bad Guy. Now, Bad Guy used to be this really, really hot song in 2018. I don't think it is anymore. It's like, uh, yeah, okay. I know that song, but I don't listen to it. So I made a parody of that. It got 100 views, I think, in two months. So clearly, no block parodies were dying off, and I was... I started making Roblox videos. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know what in my brain told me. Hey, you should play. You should make Roblox videos instead of, you know, doing Minecraft. I was steering into the right direction, but something happened, so I went to the wrong one instead. I got, t I think, 20 views per video. I'm pretty sure the views were all for my friends, anyways. So I was technically getting zero views. But yeah, it went on for that for second half 2018 all the way up to the end of 2019 so you can tell I I made Roblox videos for a long time I would say I made videos on Freedom no not Freedom Dive that's like one of my proudest song completions though like Robeats in general and it was basically just this game called Osamania it's a rhythm game but on Roblox yeah it sounds pretty stupid and I don't, I don't regret, I, I do regret playing it. Because I could have just played Ultimate Media instead. Not look like a little kid loser. But it's okay, I was a kid. I played Roblox, that's completely normal. Don't, don't, don't blame me. Yeah, so then, after that, I think I went to Osu content, actually. And I basically, I pretty much, I pretty much, my motivation for YouTube was at an all-time low. I didn't feel like uploading at all. I just thought, hey... Maybe if I shitpost my way through this, everything will be alright. Clearly, that wasn't a good idea. I should have actually tried to improve, you know? Actually, work out the YouTube algorithm. But no, I just decided to post random most of videos. Which, they didn't do very well. They got... <laughs> they honestly, I think one got four views. And it was... It wasn't... It wasn't going right. I wanted to be an OC YouTuber at one point. Which is surprising. Because... That game is honestly just so enraging, and something I just never want to play. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. But yeah, after that, 
I actually switched editors from uh, Camtasia, I believe, to Premiere Pro. Now, Camtasia, it was good for 8-year-old kids to edit, right? But it had such limited capabilities. Like, all you could really do was add the template effects that it already had provided. Premiere Pro, you can do so much other things. So, the first video I made with it was, I believe, Dominating Bed Wars with My Friend. And in that video, you know, it pretty much, the title says everything. Me and my friend just killed everyone in Bed Wars, won the game. You know, it was a pretty average video. But to me, that was kind of like the beginning of using Premiere Pro. Because I struggled so much while editing it. Even though the font is bad, the quality is bad, basically everything is bad, it was still a lot of fun to edit. And before, when I used Camtasia, it was kind of just frustrating because I had so many visions of effects and things I could have used in the video, but I just couldn't add it. Now with Premiere Pro, there's like so many things I could do, and it's honestly just amazing. I don't think I would ever switch to anything else to be honest. So yeah, after that, I made another video, which I believe is called Battle of the True Capitator. That was amazing to record. I think I pretty much just the script and everything was amazing. Of course, it was scripted because, you know, why would two friends fight over a freaking golden axe? That would be pretty stupid. But it was just really a great, like, drama piece for me. Not really a drama. It was just basically a plot. The plot was amazing. Uh, the only problem was it with it was the video quality. I still kept it up, but you know, you can tell it's all blurry, pixelated, gra grainy. It's because I recorded in 720p, and I, I'm pretty sure I streamed it, so you could tell that it was a very, very laggy. After that, I started making montages, and those. Uh, by that point, I was at I think 44, 50 subscribers. I was halfway to where I am now, only half a year ago, and that's pretty insane. So I made Popcorn Castle into a montage, I believe. Now that song, you know, Ludwig, everyone knows, the plan is simple, yes, that guy. He, he literally, all his fans, some of them at least, just found my video and decided to, you know, comment, like it, and it was pretty cool because I never got 500 views on the video before. Except for Creeper on Man, which is one of my note block parodies, and that was just no, that that was just bad quality. Popcorn Castle actually worked on it and felt proud of it, and people were commenting on it, saying like, "Oh, good montage." Usually, they just said the plan is simple, but that doesn't matter. After that, that that really did give me a big motivation boost, and I made another one. This montage, though, it was much better than Popcorn Castle. I started to record the clips by myself, as the Popcorn Castle was... I used one of my friend's clips, and I actually got a few combos in, and included it into the video. By then, the editing, you know, you could see it was improving, but you, you knew there was like a lot you could do to get better. And that was when I made the 60 sub special. That one, the flow was amazing, the quality was good, and even the... Even the like the clips had so many combos and stuff, and it was just yeah, it was it was great. And by then, I was I'm pretty sure I jumped up to 75 subscribers right after uploading um, the 60 sub special, which is just mind blowing to me. It took me to get 15 subs. It took me honestly, I think three years to do, and it was just amazing. Like the snowball effect happening right in front of my eyes and just seeing my vision come to life yeah so basically after that i'm pretty sure i made charisma and charisma it blew up i don't know what happened i'm glad it did because you know now it's now i went from 75 to 100 subscribers so i went from 44 to 100 in half a year which is just amazing and yeah, that's pretty much the entire history of my whole YouTube career. It's not much, but it's something. So I really just 
appreciate every single one of you who subscribed and who've been along on the journey to 100 subs. And yeah, comment down below if you have any ideas that I could do. I would gladly do them. I literally have spring break right now, so you know, free time. Also, join my Discord! Join! Join! <laughs>